This is the Schmo with the pro, with the chairman of Maximum Boxing, with the cover guy of Men's Fitness, Eddie Hearn, Help, in the flesh. Men's Health. Yeah. A lot of people felt it should have been GQ as well, but apparently you've got that gig next month. Is that right? How'd you know? I know. Looking unbelievable, Schmo. What's the shoes all about? Is that the area code? That's Three right. 312. Where's that? Chicago. Oh, nice. You ever been there? I have actually promoted our first ever US show there about six years ago. And what do you think of the city? I actually like the city. Great little Italian restaurant I went to as well. I can't remember the name of it, but how is Chicago these days? Couldn't have been as good as you would say it is if you don't remember the name. Yeah, it's a good point, actually. Chicago's pretty good. Yeah. Best city in the world, Memorial Day to Labor Day. After dangerous that? or not? Eh, it depends on where you are. South side, pretty dangerous. Are you south side? North side. Right, okay. We'll talk to the schmo for a second. This is a huge week in boxing. We all know it's Mexican Independence Week, but why is your guy Berlanga going to be the one to beat Canelo Alvarez? There's been a lot of guys that have been undefeated that have gone up against this man and want to crack at his titles. Why is it going to be your guy on Saturday evening? Well, I think it has to happen sooner or later. You know, the guy is coming to the back end of his career. You need a little bit of luck against Canelo. You need to, him to be a little bit underperforming, maybe... The camp's not gone as well as, as you'd like it to go because our guy is 100% across every you know part of the board. Untouched, unbeaten, punches very, very hard and ready to, to cause a shock. You know, I think a lot of people come in against Canelo Alvarez and try and survive. He won't. He'll be trying to win this fight. It'll be dangerous for him, but he will be rolling the dice in true fashion. But Eddie, you're a rational guy. You're a straight shooter. A lot of the boxing peers were calling for Canelo to fight David Benavides, the Mexican monster. Obviously, that's not the case. But your job is to promote your guys and your guys first. Do you think we ever see that fight? I don't know. I mean, Benavides is moving to 175. And once he's there, where, where he is now, it's very difficult to come back to 168. Canelo will never fight him at 175. Will he fight him at 168? Maybe. But if you take Benavidez out of the equation, this is the best fight for Canelo Alvarez. You know, in boxing, I don't see any other fights. You've got Crawford at 154, but this guy's mandatory for the world title, Belanga, and I think he's a really good fight. It's no secret. You're good buddies with Dana White. It's competition, though. He's got the sphere same exact day as your fight. Who's going to do more pay-per-views? I think it's just really weird that people are so obsessed with the business. I mean, it's great that they're passionate, but you've actually got people who are like, going on seat maps and counting seats and like how many are left and stuff like that it's wild two amazing events two different sports you know two different audiences yeah there is a crossover but just celebrate them you know the event of the sphere is going to be amazing this is going to be a great fight and a great atmosphere for for the biggest star in in combat sports in, in uh, canelo alvarez enjoy it you got choice you know you got walgreens or you got cvc make your choice two great shops and they both got plenty for you to purchase. But what do you think the interaction is going to be like between Dana White and Oscar De La Hoya? Turkis Alashik is bringing them together. What do you imagine that's going to be like? I don't know. Uh, one thing with Dana is he's not just going to play ball. But Dana White cannot stand Oscar De La Hoya. And um, I don't think he's just going to, you know, play ball to act all pally pally. But... You know, Oscar's got a lot to say. He has an incredible obsession with Canelo Alvarez. I, I, he just needs to let it go, you know, as Elsa said. And um, just cleanse your soul. Let that toxicity be removed from your life and just carry on smiling. Are you a fan of his Instagram content? It's out there, isn't it? Very strange guy. But listen, each to their own. As long as he's happy, good luck to him. That's certainly the case. Who's on your Mount Rushmore of best boxers? Not just best boxers, but the easiest guys, the ones you most enjoyed to promote so far in your great career. Anthony Joshua, Canelo Alvarez, Katie Taylor, greatest female fighter of all time. Um, and, you know, got a couple of great young fighters coming through. Obviously, Shakur Stevenson, Jerron Ennis, Bam Rodriguez. All amazing guys. If you were to be Nostradamus, what is your prediction for all that Shakur Stevenson is going to accomplish under the matchroom boxing banner? I believe he's going to. I mean, he's already a three-division world champion. I believe he's going to be a pound-for-pound -pound great, and I believe he's going to be the guy to beat Javonta Davis. You think he could be the face of your great company? Yeah, you know, I mean, AJ's done a great job of that over the years, but Shakur, Jerron Ennis, you know, Bam Rodriguez, they're all pound-for-pound -pound greats already, so blessed to have an incredible stable. Do we ever see AJ fight Tyson Fury? Yeah, look, we got AJ next week at Wembley in front of 96,000 to become a three-time world heavyweight champion. If Fury can, can dethrone Usyk, December 21 sets up the biggest fight in the history of the sport. Are you eating avocado ice cream to keep that physique like Tom Brady? I'm just breathing in. Yeah, it's not, it's not great when the shirt comes off, Schmo, but 
what can you do? 45 years old, I'm trying every day. Don't look a day over than 35. Final message for all the Eddie Hearn fans out there worldwide. Um, to all three of you, thanks for tuning in. Eddie Hearn, Instagram, Twitter. Keep following Matchroom Boxing. We love you guys. We love the sport. We're working as hard as we can every day. Keep smiling. He's the pro. I'm the schmo. Big time fight weekend here. Canelo Alvarez against Baranga. Easy for you to say, schmo. Nah, we screwed that up. We're out. <laughs>